Okay, here we are with the uh, Rogue Fabrication. This is the model 625 HD. Uh, this came pre-assembled with all the uh, stickers and stuff on it. Uh, this has the cart and with all the dies. There's some dimple dies on the bottom there too. Uh, it's got the uh, tubing notcher and the offset that comes with that. So uh, we're gonna be doing, I, I did find some tubing I had on hand here. So it's an inch and a half, uh, this is really heavy wall. Uh, I believe that was for some suspension work a while back. So we're gonna do the first um, first bend on this thing. And uh, see how she works. There we go. Guess we gotta lock down the ramp. take the entire pressure off this we can uh, pull this out it's like I'm stuck inside my uh They never told me about that part. Okay, there we go. That's a very nice bend. So we're not quite 45 degrees on that. So if you're doing something, what's nice about this, leaving the block on here, is that uh, you can actually test fit this. You can do whatever you want to with it. And then you can actually put this right back in the, in the machine because it's exactly where it was when you left off. So.
we are now at square one. So if you're not sure on a bend, you could uh, go ahead and do that. You could uh, increase your bend then, bump up to what you're doing if you don't, aren't sure of the bend itself. But uh, that's a nice, that's a really heavy piece of tubing. Um, when I understand, you can do a full, full solid bar in this. I'm not sure what the thickness of that tubing is, but it's pretty heavy, pretty heavy wall. So there you have it. I just picked this up yesterday. I drove down to, I'm in, I'm in Washington State, so it was a short, about an hour and a half drive down to, uh, down to their warehouse to pick it up down in Sandy. Really a nice bunch of guys out in the country. And uh, we got it loaded up, put, put it together last night. Um, pretty happy with it. We'll do some more bending, check out the uh, notcher and everything on it. I'll have to pick up some material to bend that with. But uh, if anybody's looking for a tubing bender, that's certainly bent tubing. Not sure how all the stuff goes on the cart yet. They did, um, they were short on a, the one rack I think that holds the larger, the larger dies. They're supposed to send that out to me and then in a, in a one inch pipe. So yeah, there we go. We're all ready to make some suspension and stuff. This is, this is their, uh, their notcher. I think it's built pretty heavy. I did, I did buy one a while back and I bought a Harbor Freight one and I, I took out the bearings on it within, I don't know, a week, <laughs> something like that. So this one's fully adjustable. It's got the, uh, got the gauge right here on it. So you can swing that around and uh, set your gauge. Evidently you can actually uh, cut right on a bend as well. I'll have to watch some more of the videos. And then of course your arbor goes in here. Came with a kit of saw blades with it. Drill goes on this end. And then the handle, I gotta get some Allen wrenches and get the handle put on right here. I'll do that, I'll do that next. This one came with a gauge finder and everything. Uh, also on this one, we got the uh, the mandrel bender. I don't have that mounted on there because the mandrel bender sticks out here pretty far out back. I just didn't have room to try it out right now. Uh, comes with the mandrel, mandrel dies right here. I'm not sure how much mandrel bending I'll do, but uh, we can do it. Anyway, if you guys looking for a bender, give them a call over there. Talk to them about it. Watch some of the videos. They have a lot of videos on there. And they also have, uh, they show you how to use it and how to bend. So don't be afraid.